All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm taking over now because death, yep. death is the thing that happens uh, quite frequently in this game. Um, hmm. all right, seriously, where did you die? Um, in in the okay, so in the cathedral ward area, that's kind of like the the circular plazas right by the edge of the cliff. So like left and then right and then left, but okay. you don't necessarily have to actually go back there. You could like go do part of the old Yarnum or um, I think actually those are the only two real directions to go right now. And this old Yarnum. That oh. Sad face. You can notice? Yes. Eh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. Like sneak Ooh. attacks. Sneak attacks can be useful in this game. But you really just it's really just the speed that matters. Okay, so right. I came from in there and you said right, so this yes. way, right? And then left at the big gate here. Right, this guy. Yep. Think I can take him? You could try. Ow. That's no good. Ow. Also no good. Well. I was like, I'm still alive. I was moving. You, you were still moving. As you, you died. Yeah, that was... Controller? Okay, I'll go. That was not intentional. <laughs> Still warming up. <laughs> As we discussed, maybe trading off every death isn't the best way to do it. <laughs> so you get two deaths to my one? At, at this rate. <clears throat> maybe it should be time-based. You know, if I was only alive for like a minute and a half, then... I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing. And what's the next milestone here? What's the next, uh... Um, completing old yarn. Right, 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 right. Then so we still have to go back and, and poke the guy right. who was shooting us. Right, because, like, we, we did... We did the, the... We opened the one shortcut there. But there is a lot more... Uh, to do. This is a pretty big shortcut. Yes. Nice. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> He's just trying to stay in his butt. Oh. That did not. Oh, good. Probably the best way to be going is around the left, then. Nice. That really did not pay off. Yeah, because, like, with a heavier weapon, that might stun him. But this is a very lightweight, not particularly damaging weapon. That's fair. Um, now it's time for this part again. Yeah, well... Hopefully this time I won't get completely butchered. You've been... You, you have a lot of pebbles to go through, right? Uh, yeah. You could try drawing the one out. I'd draw the other one. Well... Plus, he probably won't notice, really. We haven't. Oh. Nice. Very nice. I poke him with a stick. So that guy. I wonder if he's just kind of done moving. Ooh. I'm thinking I should maybe try to use charge attacks a bit more. Um, that was way too early. Yeah. I was talking about those crows and how they attack. When crows attack. When good crows go bad. Oh god. Huh. Right? Oh, I've definitely done that worse. And so have I. As we just saw. Now it's here, this guy again, giant ball. Oh Chain, yeah! Also was that how you died? Yes, that was that was right. That was how I right. Died. He, he did the, swing, the swing, swings, swing, slam, the, hammer thing. Yeah. So maybe I should just try to. You can get him. Like you'll be fine against. Oh. Like he's only a little bit. 
He's he's only a little bit more powerful than the other guys. Yeah, but they have a very different move set. Yes, that's true. Uh, but you know, for practice well, maybe, and adaptability maybe this time purpose. I'll try to not. Go ahead, try to kill him. I mean, it's not like I don't need more practice. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's pretty different. Move set. I don't know if the length of that smash is a whole, actually a whole lot more. It's just... Oh. Good God. Like, I keep wanting to try to shoot him, but, like, not really clear. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking huh. he's the same type of enemy as the ones that you just fought, like the brick-wielding, hammer-wielding guys. Right, I mean... But no, he's the same type of enemy as the guy with the giant axe that yeah, I just got they're, they're, mauled they're by. They're the absolutely, absurdly gigantic thing. Yes. Um, so anyway, like, as I said um, before, like, that's the gate that gets to the cleric beast fight, and that's the arena, like, right down there. Um, and, and it's true, you don't actually have to fight him, right? Right. But we could anyway. Um, kind of... He opens up a pathway, like I think I mentioned, like, the Cleric Beast is the first boss. Yeah. Um, and the third boss, like, both the Cleric Beast and the third boss open up a route to go further in the game. Oh. So you have to kill one of them, but you don't have to kill both of them. Um, and interestingly, um, okay, so this is kind of an infamous door right here. It's like, this would lead out to the Cleric Beast Bridge, like, into the boss arena. Oh. Um, or into what was the boss arena. However, it's closed. Yeah. And it's not just closed because they didn't fight the Cleric Beast. It's closed permanently for the entire game. Really? Which is very weird, because it would make, like, for a big... Like, this would open up a shortcut into the Cathedral Ward from that lantern that you would get from beating the boss that I haven't fought yet. That's super weird. Um, and it's closed because it was a shortcut. But then, during testing of the game, apparently they realized that just kind of like sitting at that bond, sitting at that lantern, um, or, or standing around here for a very long time would just completely crash the game. What? Because it would be trying to load in both the entire Cathedral Ward, like large chunks of the Cathedral Ward and large chunks of Central Yarnum. Oh, because this is such because, a central location. Because, this is, because, yeah, both of these are very big areas and like the chunks of them that would have to be loaded at this point and at that point, assuming you could walk through that door, was just, like, too much. And right, so because this game does, like, stream loading, right? Yes. Um, like, there are no loads aside from the loads on death, you know? Or or transport. Or Yes. Um, and so they just were just like, oh, well, I guess this door has to be closed forever now. Um, and so now it's closed forever. Um, so the thing is, there's this door, this gate, which says only a special emblem opens the main gate. Yeah. You can get the special emblem after you kill the cleric beast. Oh, so that opens that up. So if you want to get the shortcut door that way, you 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 can, can like it you can buy something in the shop after that point. Oh, okay. Um, but there's another route that you don't have to buy anything for that opens up when you fight the third boss, which I don't remember. Right. I don't, I don't remember and the only boss that I really... Well, I mean, plus it's kind of like, given that they're kind of optional and you can complete them in different orders, it's not there. really... Whoa, what the... Oh! Dog walked into the bonfire. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That's right. Whoa! Okay. Kind of like that, right there. I mean, it's not exactly. like I walked into the dog there. Well, no, you didn't walk into the dog. You walked into all three of them. Just very similar to walking into a bonfire, because... I definitely need to get better at, like, actually using using my regain when I have it, instead of just backing up and healing. Because it's never really a good plan. No. I mean, unless you've taken a, a hit that's so intense. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, all, for almost every enemy, right after they attack, you're open to hitting them. Right? Yeah. Like, they have, they have, they, they're kind of weak open points are, are available. Yeah, except for the quick multiple hit ones. Yes, except for, like, the dogs, like, in the middle of, of like, a five-hit animation. Yeah. Um, and it's, I don't know, I don't know if it's hard for you, but it's hard for me to discern. Right. Exactly. Wow, you already have 4,500. Yeah. Huh. 
Eh, piranha. I'm almost certain that these enemies are weaker than the ones up on the bridge. Oh, they probably are. I think they're smaller, too. It's entirely possible. But then again, it might be just the kind of the general camera angle that you have when you're on the bridge, or that you tend right. to tend toward so, having. I don't know. There? No, okay. I mean, I was looking at the top of the bookshelf to see if you could just land up there. Oh. Um, so now it's back to old Yarno. Because I don't think there's anything left to do in the Cathedral Ward right now. That nothing, nothing really available. Right. Without advancing. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. The happy, happy bone creature thing. The Titanite. Um. The Blood Beast. Crystal is okay. one of these. There we go. Three blood sent shards. Nice. That's that that's wait, do we have did we upgrade twice already? Yes. We that's actually kind of useless for this weapon. Oh. Because it's already at plus three and it needs um uh the twin blood sent shards. Oh, okay. Um But if we want to upgrade a different weapon later on, you know, we can and always use the blood sent shards. Yeah, and that's one level right there, so Right. I mean we'll we'll have more than enough, I'm sure, at that point. But and and we're not planning on upgrading the blunderbuss. Right. I mean, we could, yeah. but it's not. I mean, it has um stopping potential. Right. I'm not sure if there there are blood gems that would upgrade upgrade it usefully or just like do damage. Oh, you're talking about slots. Yes, because like because up upgrading, upgrading slots something can... does open up different slots for it. Right. Now, let's see. We if get we can shot. Get back to. Um, that place I was at before. Mm. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, that smoke doesn't help much, does it? This is it. That's a lot of smoke. I mean, there are like piles of bodies. I know. I still feel like it's a lot. Come to Yarnum. We've got smoke. <laughs> and blood and fire. All sorts of things. And wolves. Wolf. Of varying degrees. Wolf people. Something that's like a wolf. Yeah. Oh, like a wolf. Oh, there's more. Yep. Great. Curious me, but I'm not actually sure. I think I should be able to skip past that giant cathedral with like a dozen enemies. Um, because that, that place was kind of... Good god. Good god. I guess this is like the first area where you actually expected to have the uh the gem blood stones? the blood gem workshop tool. How do you know where all the like little shortcuts are? I mean I I found right. this last I didn't actually remember that one. I was just like, what is this? And I was oh. like, oh, you can you can do that. And it's just part of it's like you the ge <laughs> geometry theater dreams. Whoa. What was I don't Was that him shooting? And hitting me through the wall? Did it hit you? I think it it, it exploded some stuff, maybe. Here. Oh yeah. I'll give you that's probably a thing. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Wonder, wonder if there was something further up there that, that got hit. Entirely possible. Nice. Nice. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if they're actually any good. Like, because I have... Let's see. You have, like, all of these. You have, like, up. That one's kind of nice if you want really slow healing. And are those level... Those are those are level two ones? Is yeah, it's, like, the... level one and then level two and then one again. And we have probably a level two one. Yeah, I forget. Like, we, we have, like, a, 1. these ones equipped. Like, 1.4 yeah. and then, two like, 0. 0.7. Yeah. Which... See... Those, do those, do those gemstones, the addition of those gemstones make the game comparatively easier? I mean, it definitely changes the way it works. Like, it makes it much easier to handle um, upgrading weapons. Because, like, throughout all of the games, from Demon Soul to Dark Soul, Dark Soul 2 to Dark Soul 3. Yeah. Um, or, I guess, to Dark Soul 3 to Bloodborne. Yeah. Um... That made things much, much easier. What? What? Like, because like what specifically? Each each game kind of made these mechanics progressively easier to use. 
Yeah. Um, because, like, in Dark Souls, or in Demon Souls, a lot of it was just, like, to upgrade the weapon to a special boss version. Like, you need to take the weapon, you need to upgrade it to, like, plus six, you know, yeah. or plus three, or plus eight. You know, not any of the other ones, not plus eight or above, just plus eight precisely. So it needs to be a very specific level. Yeah, and then you have, they're, like, upgrade chains that go several steps, and it's just kind of, like, it's this huge, complicated mess when it's, like... This God, is... I do not remember Demon Souls at all. Okay. But no, I mean, keep um, going. Because it helps. Sure. Um, hey, look, friend. Ow. Hey, look, another friend. Oh. You, weren't that quite, you weren't quite close enough. Yeah. Um. What's your vitality at right now? Or what, what's have, your vitality like, for your life? I have no idea. I think around 600. 616 um, or something. But then, like, and, and then Dark Souls had, like, you know, you need to upgrade something to plus 5, and then you can upgrade it. And you can upgrade it to plus 10, and then you upgrade it to fire, and then you can upgrade that to plus 5, and then you can upgrade that to chaos, and then you can upgrade chaos to plus 5, and you can, or you can just upgrade it normally to plus 15. Oh. Um, oh. 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 There we go. Yep. That was not great. You were explaining things. Sure. That's that's what we're going to say about um, that. Um, what... And I, because I remember in Dark Souls, you, you had to have different item types to just to, to ascend them. Right. Because it was like green, you would Green Titanite shards and you would like... to, uh, to ascend to any, any of the different types, if I remember correctly. And then depending on the type, you had to use a different colored shard, but green was for for ascension. No, um, there was like for for normal weapons. If you didn't do anything, it was like you used titanite shards and then titanite chunks and then yeah. Whatever. What I mean, but what it was I mean, all just titanite. But then to upgrade it with an element, you had to use like green or red or white or blue. Well, I mean, you had um, to use green to upgrade it to an element, and once it was in that element, you had to use a specific color for the thing. Um, I think, well, no, I think it was, like, to upgrade it to a thing, you needed a colored version. And then to upgrade it among that thing, you needed a colored version, the are same we, color. Are we still version. going the same path? Um, I would, you could zone back to old Yarnum, because, like, that lantern is a lot closer. Oh. Um. More, more loading, right? Yes. Well, I'll just continue talking about Dark Souls upgrade mechanics. Yeah, but I have to pee. Um, I mean, I couldn't. Oh. Or we could just cut it. <laughs> Could do that. Or I could just continue talking about Dark Souls mechanics with you not here because... But I want to hear that. Oh, I guess. Okay, so, hold you on. Okay, yes. And it's just straight through there, right? Yes. I'm going to get murdered <clears throat> immediately. It's entirely possible. Um, But, oh yeah, so, so like, Demon Souls upgrading was also, like, super, super complicated because you had, like, Blade Stone and you had Mercury Stone and you had Sharp Stone and you had... Oh god, that I remember. That doesn't go anywhere. That's just kind okay. of like the loop. Um, right, I've been paying attention. Yes. Um, it's definitely, like... <sighs> I mean, really, you don't start get, getting attacked until you cross the bridge. Right, there's that guy. Which is the first um, and so basically, like, in each of the games, it's kind of a... Eased it back. Because there are things that, like, in in Demon Souls and in Dark Souls, like, if you went to Did you level up? Huh? Did you level up? No. Oh, right, you died. Yes. Um... In in Dark Souls, if you if you want to level down a weapon, and you're like, oh, actually, I upgraded it to this type I didn't really like, so I that means like throwing away a huge investment of stuff. Cause you had to be like, let's just downgrade it and destroy all the rare weird materials I used to upgrade right, it. Right, right. Um, and so it was kind of like you kind of had to be very committed to upgrading things, and you had to kind of really know what the difference was beforehand like, oh. which right because it's like okay you have a holy weapon or if you have, you have a divine weapon or even a cult weapon um you know or you, you have like a magic weapon versus an enchanted weapon like oh there's a big difference there actually is there yes oh <clears throat> well yeah i know um, that's true actually because a magic weapon adds magic damage whereas an enchanted weapon adds magic scaling damage Ow. um where, yeah, so it doesn't, it actually scales with, a uh... Right, because, like, each of the weapon types, or each of the kind of, like, weapon upgrade paths, they're ones that added damage, and then they're ones that added damage to scaling damage. Yeah. 
And that's um, that remained true, right? I mean, kind of. There, there, there are different different blood gems even in this for damage versus scaling. Wait, what? Are, which game are we talking about right now? Um, all of them. Oh, okay, yeah, because enchanted magic, yeah, right. Well, it, yeah, Dark Souls was the one that was specifically it had magic weapon and enchanted weapon. You could get like a magic scimitar or an enchanted scimitar, and they yeah. did very different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Where the hell am I going? Well, first you're going to avoid that gunfire. What gunfire? And then you're going to drop down to the right. Oh. Um, that's that one shortcut. You were like, how do you know all the shortcuts? You're a magician, yeah. Um, but then, like, this game... And the thing is, the, the ultimate effect of that is that really kind of punished trying to mess around with stuff. Because it was just like, oh, you, you didn't do this right, and so now you, you, you wasted a whole bunch of materials, and you have a weapon that sucks and does very, very bad damage. So you should heal. Nah. Um... I mean, don't just throw the fight, because... And now I'll heal. <clears throat> um, and so, what blood gems do is they, they make things much more hot swappable. It's like, oh, I have this blood gem that just makes it, gives you, it better scaling. Right? I can't remember, do you upgrade blood gems? No. Um, you just is, get better blood you gems. You just get better blood gems. Which is kind of, I feel like the downside to blood gems is that so much of the time, they're just like, oh, now this does more damage. You know, it's just like a very flat upgrade. Right. Whereas there's some that are more interesting, like, you know, now if you have this one, you heal continuously, or you do poison damage, or it upgrades your scaling in, uh, or in a weirder way. Um, like, there's some that only increase the damage from, like, certain types of attacks, so, like thrust attacks up, or, or you know, you know uh, slash attacks up. Oh, right. And, and so that really depends a lot on what kind of weapon you're putting it on, as opposed to the, most of the ones, which are just, like, increased physical damage by, you know, 1% or the, 2%. There's still exploding things aren't in here. Aren't Probably. Like, all of the urns in there basically will explode violently. You can kind of run through. Um, cross. Behind the thing? All the crows? Well, I mean, that's just a bunch of crows. You don't really have to fight them. Yeah, but I am, so here we are. Sure. Nice. Wait, could you look at that window that's above you? Okay. Oh yeah, you can actually like see inside the building. Well, I hope so. I mean, given the rest of the uh, glitches that they've had <laughs> that we've seen. Sure. It's we... kind of surprising. I don't think we noticed most of those glitches the first time we played. Sure. I mean, you're generally the first time you're not really... Am I going to get shot in here? Huh? Oh, right. That's not gonna work out. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I should probably learn what the, uh... That's not it. I mean, bear in mind, you also have your torch out, so you could not shoot them. That, you're trying to that makes sense. Um, you got a fair point. I'm like, I'm not practicing with my gun, and I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, before it wasn't actually a conscious decision, so... Um, right. You know. Enemies? Open area? Fun stuff. No. Yeah, like, right... That's, like, the big courtyard full of stuff that he shoots into with, like, six enemies in it. So... I just kind of ran through it last time, because, like, there's a, there's a... If you go that way, there's a bridge... Oh. Yes, yeah, that one. Um, you can kind of continue running down there, and then that door that's open, there's a, there's a stairwell. No, don't do that. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Okay. Cool! <sighs> Maybe I'll pay attention when you actually go through this time. Maybe. That might be good, yes. No promises. Mm. No promises. Cool! 